as an order of the Eagle Rising Society member 17, I have personally known more than two-thirds of our 24 members. I have had the pleasure of attending eight of the induction ceremonies. Without a doubt, you have an impressive life history, and you're honoring of many of your life mentors, especially a dear friend of many fellow Warren officers, C.W. before Ben McKee, deceased, touched my soul. Your life history in and out of the military shows your true American leadership and proves that you are a cut above the best. Congratulations, CW5, Dr. Harry Hobbs, on becoming the 2020 Eagle Rising Society member. Welcome to another Cohort W podcast episode, bringing you inspiring and educational interviews with today's most exciting and enterprising young warrant officer leaders. Each episode is dedicated to exploring real-life leadership in the warrant officer cohort and tackling the problems faced in large-scale combat operations and multi-domain operations. And now, here's your host. Hello. Today, I am joined by a very special guest. Dr. Harry Hobbs is this year's selectee for the Order of the Eagle Rising Society. I'd like to share a little bit about Dr. Hobbs with you. Dr. Harry Hobbs is originally from Louisville, Kentucky, and he is a retired ordnance warrant officer with almost 30 years of active service. He completed two tours of combat during his military service. Additionally, he was a commander of the only radar school in the Army. He was recognized during the Balkan-Kosovo conflict deployment by the Secretary of Defense and the Supreme Allied Commander for changing Army doctrine while running the largest combat railhead movement in the history of the Army since World War II. Dr. Hobbs holds two doctorate degrees, one in business administration from Florida Institute of Technology and one in human resources management from Western Pacific University in Honolulu, Hawaii. Some of his military awards include the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star Medal earned during combat operations, and the Meritorious Service Medal with four Oak Leaf Clusters. He is a lifetime member of the Sergeant Morales Club, the Fifth Corps Distinguished Leader Club, the Ordnance Order of Samuel Sharp, the Order of St. Barbara, and the Audie Murphy Club. Additionally, he is an Eagle Scout, class of 1977. Further, he received the Martin Luther King Jr. Unity Award, the Marilyn Mabry Racial Harmony Award, and the Whitney M. Young Community Award. Recently, he was selected as the Harriet Tubman Community Leader Awardee. Dr. Hobbs was selected as the Mentor of the Year in 2011 for the City of Huntsville. He was selected based on his work with youth from all walks of life and his commitment to the success of all youth he interacted with on a daily basis. Dr. Hobbs was selected as the Veteran of the Year for 2012 for the City of Madison by the Madison City Rotary Club. He sits on the Congressman Mo Brooks Military Nomination Committee, and he is tasked with making the final selections for high school graduates to attend one of the five military academies. He was the first U.S. Army Warrant Officer in history to be the guest speaker for the United States Air Force Academy graduation. Additionally, Dr. Hobbs was inducted into the U.S. Army Ordnance Corps Hall of Fame in November of 2013. Dr. Hobbs currently resides in Madison, Alabama, with his wife of 40 years. Congratulations, Dr. Hobbs. On behalf of Colonel Nelson and the United States Army Warrant Officer Career College, job well done. And personally, I'm proud of you and all you have accomplished. Cheers. Dr. Hobbs, can you share with the audience a little bit about yourself, please? I sure can, Russ. And I, I'm just Harry. Thank you. I, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I uh, joined the military at 17 years old a, a, as a way to serve our country uh, as a former Eagle Scout. That's just what I wanted to do was serve our country and, and be a professional soldier. And so I was blessed enough to do that for almost 30 years. I've been married now for over 40 years, two daughters. They both served. My wife was a military brat. Her father served. 30 years. So I'm just living the American dream of serving our country. And now I'm in the civilian sector as a vice president of a utility company in North Alabama. Thank you to you and your family for that commitment and service to the nation. I shared with the audience previously some of your accomplishments, and they're, they're, those are very inspiring. But can you tell me, from your perspective, what accomplishment has been the most meaningful to you and why? I think the biggest accomplishment that I've been able to accomplish in the military that I'm privileged to have experienced is to having taught at every level of the warrant officer education system. As an educator at heart and uh, a former dean of, of a college, that was always a dream of mine to be able to teach. 
the military, the army allowed me to teach at every level of the warrant officer education system. And what a unique, distinct honor to do that. And I hold that close to my heart. That's, that's very, it was just very humbling that I was able to get a platform at every level of our training. So is it fair to guess thousands of students have been taught by you? Well, I would say humbly, yes. Having taught as a TAC officer at the advanced course, at the staff course, at the senior staff course, and then having also taught at the AIT and allied officers for the radar school where I was a commander, just wonderful opportunities to interact with soldiers at, at every level and officers and civilians and allies. The Eagle Rising Society, at least in part, was the brainchild of USAWOA founder, CW4 retired Don Hess, when he actually served on the board of directors for the Military Officers Association of America. And thereby, it's a special, special award to me. My name's Jack Dutille. I'm the National Executive Director of the United States Army Warrant Officers Association. And on behalf of the association and its scholarship foundation and the Warrant Officer Historical Foundation, on whose board I sit, I would like to cordially congratulate Harry Hobbs for being the sole selectee to enter into this society this year. It's a very exclusive award, and you should be very proud of it, sir. God bless. Given all that experience that you have of teaching and sharing and observing students and soldiers and warrant officers, can you uh, tell me what you would share with warrant officers who just graduated warrant officer school? Yes, I, I would tell. I know it sounds cliche, passe. Take small challenges every day. Eat the elephant one bite at a time. I think one thing that a young officer, I remember, I'm a little older, but I remember, wanted to tackle the world. But what we need to do is take day by day. No one becomes a warrant officer and at the top of their game day one. It's a little bit every day. Take those challenges every day. Strive to be your best at every task. Learn from your mistakes. Learn to cooperate and collaborate with others. Take feedback. Be a 360 degree person. Be able to take feedback from peers, subordinates, or seniors. Be able to smile at yourself when you make mistakes. That's good for all of us, whether we're just fresh out of candidate school or whether we've been in for a while. So thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. Again, congratulations to you for your recognition from the Order of the Eagle Rising Society. Do you have any final thoughts or anything else that you'd like to share with the audience? Well, I would just tell you that you don't get anywhere by yourself. And you heard me say this at my inducting ceremony. It took a village. It took people from all ethnicities all walks of life, both genders, people that have my worldview and people that don't have my worldview that invested in me to be where I'm at today. So I would tell you that if you want to be successful, everybody in your camp shouldn't look like you or think like you. You should get somebody else that thinks different from you to give you feedback, even in the military. I, I know we're, we're kind of sometimes a closed uh, system, but be open to thinking outside the box. Always continue lifelong education. Be ever learning. And don't be afraid to get in the arena. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because you can't get better if you just live a protected life, afraid to make big decisions. You have to be willing to put it on the line sometimes in a professional way. And again, I didn't join the Army one day and think that I would be where I'm at today. But you just work towards it a little bit every day. Believe in yourself, believe in your training, and continue to get better every day. There's enough success for everybody. You don't have to throw somebody else under the bus to look good. You can all win together. I believe in a win-win leader situation. And so I am proud and humbled to be inducted. And I'm still learning. And it's an honor and a privilege. And I will do my best to hold this mantle high as I continue to work in my civilian community. Thank you for your time today and your great insights. I appreciate it. Have a great day and all the best to you and your family in this coming year. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Mr. Harry Hobbs, I wanted to congratulate you one more time on your recent achievements as the newest member of the Eagle Rise Society, aka the Chief Warrant Officer Hall of Fame. During this time, we have become friends. I'm looking forward to a lifelong friendship and a mentor with you. Thank you very much.
Established in 2004 as a joint venture between the Military Officers Association of America and the U.S. Army Warrant Officer Career College, the Order of the Eagle Rising Society annually recognizes one individual who has contributed significantly over their lifetime to the promotion of the warrant officer community in ways that stand out in the eyes of the recipients, seniors, subordinates, and peers. Dr. Harry Hobbs, this year's selectee, will be added to the list of distinguished individuals who have been recognized with this honor previously. Those individuals are Frederick Ferguson, Michael Novacell, Donald E. Hess, Willie Ruff, David O. Williams, Jr., Dean E. Stoops, Donald R. Howerton, Sharon T. Swartworth, Thomas M. O'Sullivan, William R. Walton, Robert L. Huffman, Robert D. Scott, Albert S. Egerton, David P. Welsh, Roger C. Perry, Franklin D. Meeks, Robert N. Cooper, Benny R. McKee, Jerry Dillard, Rufus Montgomery, Kenneth Hill, Paul E. Merchant, and Robert J. Latandra. Officer Historical Foundation, thank you to today's guest for your insights on the future of warfare and the importance of the warrant officer to that fight. Please visit warrantofficerhistory.org to learn more about how you can help support the foundation and programs like this. Special thanks to our theme music composer, Josh DiStefano. Visit joshdestefano.com to hear more of his outstanding works.